Well, hello guys. Um, in the last video, I showed you how to uh, do the initial setup for FreeNAS 11.4.2 as well as um, Windows SMP uh, share. For this tutorial, uh, we uh, I gonna show you how to um, install the plugin for Flex Media Servers. So first thing first, uh, if you do not have the data set for uh, flex servers then follow me uh, with this step if you already did then uh, skip uh, you can skip this step so run the freenest homepage uh, navigate it to the storage and uh, pools and uh, expand it <coughs> so as you see I already have a flex uh, server data set open uh, if you do not just go ahead and add a new data set and you can name it like flex media server flex and uh, or whatever the name that you refer and uh, keep everything as uh, default settings and just accept since I already have one I'm gonna skip this step once you create a data set don't forget to uh, go back to that data set and set the permissions you know go to option and edit permissions and give it a permission added uh, your username added the root and uh, allow it a read or write permissions uh, for um, well at least it have to have a write permissions so that the username fall under that root uh, and the owner of that this directory able to uh, copy all the movie um, all your multimedia uh, <coughs> music whatnot uh, into that folder once you done that, he said. <coughs> well, now that we have the, <coughs> excuse me, now that we have the data set, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the plugin for um, Flex Media Servers. So go ahead and navigate the plugins and available. So since I already have a couple plugins installed in my uh, free net box, uh, that's why I didn't ask me to activate. If uh, this is the first time you do it, you're not gonna be able to see any available plugin down here. Uh, it's gonna say that uh, you need to have a jail manager before you can install the plugin. Uh, it's gonna ask you to activate the uh, pool. So you just hit on uh, config and then uh, pick the pool from the drop down menu, whatever that you want to have the jail manager installed on. And just hit activate. It take uh, <coughs> a few and then it's uh, gonna install the geo manager on that uh, data pool and once you've done that uh, you're gonna able to see the available plugin down here and uh, we're just gonna go and look for um, the flex media server so that is flex media server so they have two look plugin right now um, one at the flex media server and the other at the flex is the flex media server but it would the uh, flex pass not sure what the difference is uh, I, <clears throat> I'm guessing is uh, the flex media server is lack up of um, all the package as supporting a remote um, streaming if you have a subscription with uh, flex you can actually stream remotely uh, room home uh, so it's up to you uh, whether you are using the Flex Media Server or the one with the Flex Pass. Since I have Flex Pass, I'm gonna use the second one. <coughs> D uh, for the network setting, you can keep it a DHCP. Um, I normally use a DHCP, and I have a PFC in box, so I can research the uh, all static map, certain IP address to this Flex Media Server, so every time it connected to the uh, PFC box and request for a new IP address it's gonna get the same IP address every time uh, however you have an option to uh, set static uh, IP room here if you don't want to use DXCP check it out and then uh, the interface that you're gonna use uh, to connect it um, to the internet uh, it shouldn't be that many uh, if you only have um, one Ethernet on yours you probably only have one uh, because I'm using the Dell uh, RS720XD, uh, it has multiple interface um, to uh, one gigabit uh, e Ethernet and uh, the other 10 gigabit uh, 
Ethernet and uh, obviously the IP address <coughs> and the uh, subnet and once you've done that uh, for the tutorial we use uh, DXCP I'm gonna go and check that and once you've done that just hit set and uh, the they're gonna start the installations <coughs> so before it um, well obviously this is pulled directly from uh, uh, servers so it's gonna test for the um, network connections if this is fail uh, and you set static IP obviously um, you might have the wrong IP address or the wrong subnet mm, go ahead and correct that and um, try it again if it go through it would mean that your setup is good to go alright should be done in a minute right here alright so it done uh, this is the portal for um, Freenet. We don't need it right now. We're not gonna set it up at the moment. <clears throat> I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, because if you jump to Freenet box right now, you're not gonna able to add any library. Um, it haven't have any mail port yet, so it basically it doesn't have access to the the data pool where the actual the media store at. So what? Um, once you install the plugin, it automatically starts. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and stop it. <coughs> In order to make any uh, changes to the uh, plugin, you have to stop it before you uh, can do that. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna go to jail and flex right here options, and we're gonna add a mail point to it. Action and add a mail point. Source obviously gonna be. Um, the data set that I showed you how to create earlier for me it's going to be flex servers and the dentinations by default it's going to mail it to the root folder of uh, the flex plugin within the geo manager we're going to mail it to uh, it already has a folder so we're going to mail it to the media and hit set alright I'm going to go back to plugin install and uh, right now it's not running we're gonna go ahead and restart it all right it started uh, chain to up it's up running you hit an option again and go to the management all right uh, this is the initial uh, setup for uh, flex and so you got it and uh, so I think this is uh, what the difference between the two uh, plugin. Now the other one, I don't think it's gonna have this option for you. And uh, this one because I have a flex uh, pass, and uh, the plugin I selected flex pass. That's why they asked me it allow um, me to access my media outside my network or not. I'll keep it default setting for right now. And uh, you can change uh, the name for your flex media servers. By default, it's called flex, but you can change it to whatever you want and hit next <clears throat> all right uh, it's gonna ask you to uh, organize your media room right here you can add a library you go ahead and hit add library movie and hit next route for uh, media folder so right here basically uh, you're gonna tell flex where your media store at and you hit on the folder down here and media that's where we put the mail point to so we're gonna go to that folder and right here I already have a couple folder uh, just to show you guys um, that um, the setup so I'm gonna select movie and I'm gonna hit add and uh, advanced setting from right here you can uh, have a lot of different uh, advanced setting you can actually uh, edit uh, the setting later on or you can do it right here you can choose the uh, <clears throat> the agent is flag movie or the movie database. So basically, it's just the the one that can handle all the metadata. And if you want to include the thing in your library, that basically it. <clears throat> and collections, I don't want it to show collections, so I'm gonna set it to disable. But 
set it to whatever you uh, refer and like always you can uh, change the setting later on and hit add library uh, let's say if you have another library uh, you want to add just hit add another library <coughs> and let's say you have a TV show I don't have any uh, TV show set up yet but I have TV show folders so I hit TV show uh, you can rename it to whatever you want. I'll keep a default setting. Hit next and route for media folders. And um, I go to media again. And right here uh, in the flex server folder, I already have a TV show folder. And hit add <coughs> and add library. <coughs> Let's add one more uh, movies. I gotta name it. Uh, Kid movie. All right. Next, and I'm gonna go to uh, the media folder again, and kid movie right here, and add add library. All right. After you done that, next, and done. So here go to, uh, flex automatically uh, scan for the library and adding uh, all the movie. Uh, you see right now it actually analyze the name and get the the um, metadata from the servers so you can see all the nice and pretty uh, cover right here <clears throat> you can see the TV show right now I don't have any uh, TV show uh, file in there so it's empty but uh, this is the movie directory <clears throat> And uh, there you go. And uh, there you have it, guy. But uh, actually, uh, one more thing. Let me show you. Uh, so, if you want to change the um, meta, uh, meta, 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 metadata, you can, uh, can uh, go to the each folder and uh, right here, hit on the options, and you edit the setting, and you go down to the advanced, and you can change whatever setting you refer in here. And that's it. When you done that, um, you just hit on the refresh all metadata, and then it's gonna change accordingly to whatever the setting that you set in here. <coughs> and uh, let's go back home. And I think uh, this wrap it up my uh, tutorial for how to install Flex in uh, FreeNAS 11 Fortunes. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll probably uh, show you how to um, do the port forwarding in the PFC inbox or uh, your routers in order to uh, stream remotely. Uh, by default, Flex is going to automatically uh, do that and it should work. Uh, let me see. You go to uh, setting panel, remote access. Yep. You see right here the check mark, the ring check, check mark, which means that uh, it automatically uh, set up the. <coughs> port and everything for you uh, so you can stream it uh, remotely from home uh, however a uh, certain router and uh, firewall gonna block the um, it you know, if set to block the port and you, know, uh, you might need to set the port forwarding uh, in order to do that so in the next couple tutorial tutorial I'll show you how to do that and uh, with that I'll see you guys in the next tutorial uh, like always uh, Leave me a uh, comment if you have any questions uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.